Hello and welcome to a Double Stitch Creations tutorial. Today we're finishing off Trixie the Bat. This is Trixie the Bat tutorial number three. Um, in the other two we worked on his head and his body and today we're working on his wings and we'll attach them to his body and finish him off. Right, let's get started. So I'm using grey yarn for his wings. You can use the colour of your choice. Um, I'm going to use a 3.5mm hook. You'll need a tapestry needle and scissors. So to get started I always leave a bit of a tail and I'm going to make a slip knot which I wrap around my finger twice and grab the back loop and pull it over the front loop. Then I grab my, the tail and wrap it in front of the loop that is still in my finger and once more grab the back loop and pull over the front loop. And now I've got this loop that I can put on my crochet hook and loosen and tighten as needed. And to um, the way I hold my yarn is I hook my pinky here and just put my point under here, my index finger and my thumb come around and lightly hold my work near the crochet hook and this is our working yarn. You'll find your own way, um, that's just the way I've always done it. Um, now we're going to chain 11 so we yarn over so we're putting a hook under this yarn and pulling it back through the loop on our hook, that's one. Yarn over, pulling it back through the loop on our hook two. Yarn over, pulling it back through the loop and a hook three, and we want eleven, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, so we're going to put in the second chain from the crochet hook, so here's our hook. We can't work into this first chain to the crochet hook. We can have to work into the second because if we work into the first undo. So we're going to work into the second chain. And in into this then into the same into that second chain we're going to do we're going to do a double crochet, two sing uh, sorry, a double crochet, two chains, and a double crochet into the same chain stitch. So we're going into the second chain stitch from the hook to, and we're going to do a double crochet. So we yarn over going into that chain space, yarn over, pull up a loop so you've got three loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two. Now we're going to chain two, so yarn over and pulling it back through the loop in your hook, that's one, then doing another one, two, and now we're going to do another, another double crochet into the same stitch, so yarning over first, Going into that stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two, and yarn over and pull through the last two. So that was a double crochet, two chains and double into the same stitch, and now we're going to skip a stitch, we're going into the next one, and in this we're going to do a single crochet, two chains and a single into the same stitch. So going into that chain stitch first, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through both, that's our first single crochet, two chains, then another single crochet, so going into that stitch, yarning over, two loops in your hook, yarn over and pull through both. Now we're skipping this stitch and we're going into this one and we're going to once more do single crochet and two chains into the same stitch. Then we're skipping this stitch and we're going to do a single crochet and two chains. Two chains and a single crochet into the same stitch. Then we're going to skip this one and we're going to just do a single crochet into the last two chains. So, so one single crochet into that chain and then one single crochet into the next. And that completes our first row. And now we're going to chain one and turn. And we're going to work on our second row. And we're just going to do a single crochet into the first stitch. And then a single crochet into the second. And then we're looking for that chain space where we did the single crochet, two chains, and a single crochet. And we're going to, where we did the chains, we're going to put our hook 
into that space and in this we're once more going to do a single crochet, two chains and a single crochet. So single crochet, two chains and a single crochet into the same chain space. Now remember we did this three times so once we're looking for the next chain space we're going to repeat single crochet, two chains and a single crochet and then we're going to find the last single crochet, two chains from the previous round going into that chain space and once more we're going to do a single crochet, two chains and a single crochet and where we did the double we're going to leave that unworked we're going to leave that just like that, we're going to chain one and we're going to turn and we're going to start row three so in the chain space, we're going to do, this time we're going to do a double, two chains and a double, so yarn over, going into that chain space, the first chain space, yarn over, two loops on your hook, sorry, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops and then pull through the last two loops, so I'm, not talk, I'm crocheting quicker than I'm talking, now chain two, then yarn over, we're doing another double crochet into the same space, so yarn over first, going into that chain space, yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two and pull through the last two. Now we're finding the next chain space and this is where we're going to do another single crochet, two chains, and a single and then we're going to finding the next chain space along single crochet two chains and a single and then we're just going to single crochet one single crochet into the last two stitches okay now we're on to row four so we're going to chain one And we're going to turn and we're going to do a single crochet into the first stitch and a single crochet into the second and we're looking for that chain space and we're going to do a single crochet, two chains and a single crochet. Looking for the next chain space and we're going to do a single crochet, two chains and a single crochet and once more we're going to leave that one unworked we're going to do chain one and we're going to turn we're going to do a double crochet into this chain space two chains and then a double crochet And then we're looking for the last chain space and we're going to do a single crochet, two chains and a single crochet. And then we're just going to do one single crochet into the last two stitches. Into it. And now we're going to chain one and turn. Once more we're going to do one single crochet into these into this first stitch and then one single crochet into the next and we're going to do into that chain space we're going to do a single crochet two singles and a crochet uh, uh, sorry two chains and a crochet single crochet and once more we're leaving this one unworked we're going to chain one and we're going to turn for this is the last row and in this last chain space we're just going to do a single crochet, two chains and a single crochet and then we're going to do one single crochet to the next and one single crochet into the last. Now that completes one half of the wing. See, so um, to finish off just cut enough of the yarn so that you can 
A attach the two halves together and attach it to the back. So just cut your yarn and then yarn over and pull all the way through. Okay, and with this, and I'll leave you to do the second wing exactly the same, except when you go to finish off, you don't need as long. You only need one, one wing to have a long strand. The other one can be um, a bit shorter to weave in. So I'll just rewind the video and make another half a wing, and then I'll get back to you to join them together and finish off the back. Okay, I just got my two halves together if we can see it coming together now so what we're going to do is these shorter ends we're going to weave them in leaving the long end because we're going to need that so grabbing your tapestry needle and just weaving it in and out of your wing and tucking it away. And then you can trim it. And doing the same for this. So this, you should have, there'll be three ends that you want to sew in at the moment. I'm just weaving in the shorter ends and keeping the long one for attaching to the back. Okay. And then trimming it. Now do the, the short end on this wing. And we're just going to trim that. Okay, now we've got our two bat wings to join together. Okay, grabbing your tapestry needle and this end that we didn't, that we're going to use to attach. So you want to put your two halves together. And then you're just going to sew, sew them together. You could also single crochet them together if you wanted, um, whatever's easiest. And just sewing the two halves together. And I'll probably go over it twice just to make sure it's secure. And when you get to the top, make sure you grab the corners so that they join nicely. So it's worth putting a couple of extra stitches in there. And just make sure I've got those corners. And then I'm going to go back down. Okay, now once you 
join that together. So that's what it's going to look like. It's one whole piece. You can grab your bat and put him in the center. And hopefully you've got a long enough strand to attach, but if not, it doesn't matter, just add a bit more. And we're just going to literally go through the wing and into the body of our bat. So just got him in the center. He will move, so you just have to keep checking it. So I'm going in through the wing and into the body. And then, so I'm just sort of going down these edges here and leaving these to just float out there. And just moving over, moving over a little bit. And then I'm going back into the wing and then back into the body. You just want to do that all the way along. And keep checking that he's in where you want him to be. Because he will move. Just. And then I'm going, I'm now going, working behind him, but I'm still going into the wing and into the body. Just going, working my way all the way around. And then I'll probably do that twice to make sure he's secure. I just keep doing this into the body, into the wing, and touching him, and I and do it twice, and then I will go back to you at the end to finish him off. All right, so once you're over this side, you're just coming down this here, or wherever you want to attach it. And I'm going to go around twice to make sure it's nice and secure and then I will get back to you. So just going into the wing, into the body, all the way around and I'll get back to you after I've done it twice. Okay, once you've sewn around the wings twice, you're just going to knot it, knot it off. And you like to do it three times as always. Completely up to you. And then I just weaving it in and out of the wing. Just weaving the end out. Tucking it away. And then you can see it. And there you have Trixie the Bat all finished. He's ready to go on his pencil and make a cute buddy for somebody. So Trixie is one of five to collect from my Halloween collection. Um, and I hope to get the other tutorials out shortly. Um, please like, subscribe and all that jazz. It does help me out more than you know. And I truly appreciate that. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed making Trixie the Bat. Bye for now.